hi guys welcome back to pure crochets today we are creating this beautiful shirt it goes hand in hand with these pants that we made last time to make it a nice beach set i hope you'll enjoy this tutorial kindly subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts on the comment section and this is how the shirt looks it's so classy it's beautiful it's easy to make it makes the whole outfit really elevated and this is the close-up look of the shirt as i said it's a very very easy tutorial i'm hoping you'll enjoy this tutorial and let me show you more of the shirt then we start with the tutorial to make this we are using milk cotton yarn you can use any other type of yarn that you have you'll need a tape measure you'll need a 4.5 mm hook um pair of scissors you'll need stitch markers and a darning needle for your project and as i said this is a 4.5 mm hook so to begin we are working with the first back panel and then front panels please take your shoulder to shoulder measurements then chain as long as your shoulder to shoulder measurements is my shoulder to shoulder measurements is a 17 inches and now i'm just chaining all the way to 17 inches so do that and i'll meet you at the end of this row okay i am done with my chains and please go ahead and measure your chains as i said i'm chaining up to 17 but if i stretch my work it stretches to 18 inches so now let's begin making the mesh stitch okay so this is how we make the mesh stitch chain two more chains yarn over skip the two chains that you've just chained go to the third chain and make a double crochet like this okay chain one chain one yarn over skip the next stitch go to the next stitch and make a double crochet like this chain one yarn over skip the next stitch go to the next stitch and make a double crochet like this chain one yarn over skip the next stitch go to the next stitch and make a double crochet we are going to work like this until the end of the row i will meet you on the end of this first row done with my first row and this is how my work looks okay to begin the next row kindly chain four all right this is how your work should look i'm just trying to adjust the lighting for all of you one two three and four turn your work and now we are going to yarn over and go in the first double crochet and put a double crochet on top here okay so let's adjust the lighting one more time and zoom in perfect so yarn over go in this first double crochet which is this one and make a double crochet chain one go in the next double crochet and make a double crochet on top of it like this chain one go on the next double crochet and make a double crochet we are working like this i will meet you at the end of the row
all right we are done with the second row to begin the third row kindly chain four and please note we will be chaining four every time to begin the row so chain four one two three and four turn your work around yarn over go in the first first double crochet and make a double crochet like this please make sure you're making a double crochet on top of the double crochet then chain one go in the next double crochet and make a double crochet chain one go in the next double crochet and make a double crochet and so this is our pattern we are going to work like this until your work perfectly fits the length that you want okay for me it is 23 inches so i work like this up to 23 inches remember this runs from your uh, shoulder areas all the way to your back area all the way to your lower back it depends on how long you want your shirt to be but for now we are making the back panel okay so do this until the length that you want your shirt to reach and i'll meet you once we are done All right, I am done and this is my back panel measurements. I went only to 22 inches. Okay, you can make it longer if you want. Once you're done, chain one, cut off your yarn and fasten your work like this. Okay, make sure your work is tight enough. And now we are working on the front panels. All right, to work on the front panels, we are going to use our back panel um, 
to get the perfect front panel measurements kindly fold your work into two like this okay and then we are going to put a stitch marker in the middle of our work which is this corner here where we just folded that marks the middle of our work all right and you can confirm that with the tape measure if you're not so so sure so count how many chains we have on this side up to the stitch marker and double check also on the other side if it's enough chains okay so i'm just double checking on this other side to see if it's really in the middle so this side should be the same as this side okay i hope you understand so this is the middle of our work and i want only to have two stitch markers here so one here and the other one here and in the middle here we will only leave one stitch okay this stitch will be the center of our work so we'll put one stitch marker here like this and then move this stitch marker to the next stitch so now we are only leaving this space in the middle okay so i'm double checking my work again i want to leave only two stitches in the middle so my front panels will be minus two chains you understand now we are starting to work on the front panel kindly remember your front panel should be half the size of your back panel so just count how many stitches you have on the back panel the half of it that is the direct measurements for your front panel so i've counted mine and i'm going to chain as much as half of my back panel is and that is one of my front panels all right so right now i'm chaining up to half of my back panel once i'm done we will begin with the same same pattern we have been working with and as you can see i'm just going ahead to measure to see if it's accurate or not please go ahead and also use a tape measure it's the best thing you can have always double check your work with a tape measure this is seven inches and i should work all the way to seven inches long now we begin on the pattern which is the mesh stitches okay at the end here yarn over skip the first two stitches one two on the third stitch go in and put a double crochet like this chain one yarn over skip the next stitch go to the next stitch and make a double crochet like this skip this stitch go to this one and make a double crochet chain one yarn over skip this stitch go to the next one and make a double crochet chain one yarn over skip the next stitch go to the next one and make a double crochet do that i will meet you at the end of this row Okay, I am done and I'm just double checking my work if my front panel perfectly fits and yeah it's fine remember we are leaving one chain to the stitch marker which is this one okay so put that aside and continue with the pattern now I'm at the end of my work remember at the end here you always chain four one two three and four turn your work yarn over go to the first double crochet and do a double crochet like this chain one go to the next double crochet and do a double crochet chain one go to the next double crochet and do a double crochet and we are going to repeat this i will meet you at the end of this row
we are at the end of the row and this is how our work looks i hope yours looks the same as mine so to begin the next row always chain four turn your work and we are repeating the same same thing so we are going to work like this until your front panel is the same length as your back panel if your back panel was 22 the front panel should also be 22 remember this is only one of the front panels so you need to make two of these front panels all right so go ahead and make this 22 inches then using the same same measurements make another front panel like this all right so you need to have two front panels and work back pa one back panel using the same same process i've just shown you okay so this is my back panel and i'm done and please note before you get to 22 inches three uh three rows to 22 inches we have to do a decrease so work up to three rows to 22 inches and this is how we do a decrease yarn over go to this stitch first double crochet and don't finish the double crochet yarn over again go to the next double crochet like this then now we are going to yarn over the first two okay you can see our work has two 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 so we'll yarn over the first two like this pass through the first two right like this okay yarn over again in the next two then finish up with the next two that is a triple crochet all right a triple stitch so after you've made your first triple stitch chain one go to the next stitch and make a normal double crochet all right like this so we are only doing what one triple stitch at the beginning of your work and at the end of your work kindly note we are only doing decreases in three stitches to your measurements okay so this is the first row the second row i'll also do it and the third row so i'll meet you at the end here all right so we are at the end here and we have two stitches left and we are going to do our decrease so go in the double crochet like this yarn over in the end here always go in the chain three like this yarn over so do the first triple crochet go in the first two double crochets like this two are left then two the remaining go in the next two like this then yarn over go in the last three all right chain four to begin the next row yarn over immediately we are doing a decrease yarn over go in the next double crochet like this do not complete it yarn over go in the next double crochet and now we are doing a triple crochet so yarn over the first two yarn over the next two and yarn over the final two always chain one to begin the next stitch so yarn over go in the next stitch and do a normal double crochet on top of a double crochet yarn over do a double crochet on, the, on top of a double crochet and please note you need to decrease in the beginning of the row and the end of the row and we are only doing three rows to your desired length this is row two and i'll meet you once you're done with row three okay we are decreasing again and it's the same same pattern so decrease three rows to your desired length and i'll meet you once you have two front panels and one back panel
right we have now our two front panels which are the same remember we're only decreasing on three rows to our desired length and also we have the back panel so now if i measure my back panel it decreased with three inches please if you want your work to be baggy in what you you have always add three inches so my work decreased with three inches i don't know how and now we want to make the collar area so take your tape measure and leave only four inches in the middle here so this is the middle of our work and we need to leave this four inches in the middle here all right leave four inches in the middle of your work that will be the collar area so find the four inches in the middle here and put stitch markers like this and please make sure it's only four inches apart from one stitch marker to the other stitch marker okay once you have that in place we are going to attach our front panels take your front panel and we are going to attach from the end to the stitch marker and also from the other end to the stitch marker if your work overlaps the stitch marker is okay please just join from the end here up to the stitch marker if your work is longer than the stitch marker please assume the other material left just work up to the stitch marker you understand always join from other corner only to the stitch marker join your work remember you can use a darning needle to join or uh, your hook so for me i will use my darning needle i like very very neat work so <laughs> i love using my darning needle it's much easier than a hook but if you are using a hook you can do that you can use the same same hook you've been using to join as i said i am using a darning needle and just go in each stitch in and out in and out like this using a darning needle and join everything together okay We are at the end please make a knot and then cut off your yarn and make sure your knot is firm enough go to the other side and also join at the top here using a darning needle and i'll meet you once you are done okay once you're done with that now we are going to work on the sleeves to get the sleeve measurements take your tape measure put on your biggest uh, area of your arm mine is my bicep area my bicep area is 10 inches when it's bigger so 10 in your um sorry in your measurements add six inches so if you have 10 add plus six so chain 16 inches if your biggest arm area is 20 add plus six so it is 26 inches so that is how you get your sleeves measurements your biggest area plus six inches and then once you have that in check we are going to work the same same pattern we are going to create meshes and 
create meshes like this which is skip the first two stitches and in the third stitch make a double crochet like that chain one yarn over skip the next stitch go to the next stitch and make a double crochet the same same pattern we have been working with and i'm hoping you got the sleeve measurement correctly please let me repeat take your biggest area which is the bicep area if it's 10 inches add six more inches to make your work more baggy and well fitting okay so just continue with this pattern i'll meet you at the end of your work And at the end and always remember at the end we chain four to begin a new row one two three and four yarn your work yarn over turn your work around go in the first double crochet and make a double crochet like this chain one go in the next double crochet and make a double crochet we are going to work like this i'll meet you at the end of your work the end of our work and remember at the end here you always go on top of chain three to make a double crochet then you chain four turn your work around go in the next double crochet make a double crochet so we are going to work like this until your sleeves perfectly meet your measurements that you want okay i did seven inches of sleeve area if you want more longer sleeves just add more chains okay so mine is seven inches and it's the same same pattern please go ahead and make two identical sleeve areas sleeves and i will meet you once you have your two sleeves you have your sleeves in check this is one of my sleeves and we want to join it at the top here i already joined one so we're gonna join this one together okay so make sure your work is like this straight straighten up your work take your sleeve fold it into two like this and have your stitch marker near you because we are using it right now Put your stitch marker on this corner here and we're going to attach it at the edge here where we attached our work, all right? Like this. So take your work, fold it into two, put your stitch marker at the end here and then bring it to the shoulder area where we had attached our work earlier like this here. Kindly straighten your work before you start joining and then we are going to join from the end here all the way to the other end using your darning needle. So just make sure your work is straight before you start joining and please make sure the wrong side is on the wrong side, the right side is on the right side. Then we are joining from this end all the way to this other end. 
Once you're done, go ahead and join the sides of your work and every other area that needs to be joined using a darning needle and I'll meet you once you finish joining all the sides. hope you finished joining your work and that went smoothly mine went smoothly i hope yours went smoothly too so just double check if everything is well placed if you join the right way your work should look like this the wrong side should be inside like this and the right side should be up you should have your sleeves in place your back panel and front panel in place and everything should be well placed so now we want to work on our collar area to work on our collar area just make sure your work is flat and straight like this take your tape measure and from the top here the from the top of the front panel leave two inches please make sure uh, we are leaving three inches sorry not two inches we are leaving three inches space from the top of your front panel up to here should be three inches this is for size extra small small and medium for size large extra large please leave four inches now reattach your yarn where your stitch marker was like this and now we are going to continue with our pattern remember we are now joining the collar area always we are chaining four to begin a new row so i've just chained four yarn over and go in this space here the first double crochet and make a double crochet i'm really trying to see if this double crochet is strong enough but yes it's strong enough so i'll just go there and make a double crochet chain one and go inside the next double crochet like this and make a double crochet chain one go in the next double crochet and make a double crochet but i saw this space is quite big so i decided to go inside the space and made a double crochet then go in the next double crochet and make a double crochet if the space is too big go in the space just try and see if the spaces will be too big or too small if it's too big go in the space if it's too small go in the double crochet all right here is just where you try to use common sense uh instead of following the pattern okay but it's only this front area because the back area is well aligned with uh with the pattern you can see the stitches well only the front area is where it's a bit crazy 
and now we are done with the front area we are going in the back area which is easier we are going in each on top of the double crochet and making a double crochet chain one go on top of the next double crochet and make a double crochet chain one we are going to work all through the back area and on the other front area until where the other stitch marker is okay i'll meet you when you're done I am done and I've just finished putting a stitch there so chain four turn your work remember this is where the second stitch marker was chain four turn your work and we are going to repeat the same same remember where there is a double crochet you put a double crochet now it's much visible so yarn over go in the next double crochet like this and put a double crochet chain one go in the next double crochet and put a double crochet chain one and repeat the same same pattern until the end of this collar area and we're going to work like this until your collar area suits you if you want too long just continue with longer um, continue with the pattern for me i did seven rows of the collar area and remember we are using just the same same pattern at the end you chain four you turn your work and repeat the same same pattern okay so i'll meet you once you're done with the collar area i'm hoping this is clear we are working from this area all the way around up to here once you get here you chain four and go around again all right i did seven rows went ahead and just inserted some blue yarn there to match my pants remember the pants that we made last week so i said earlier this is a matching set and these are the rows i did one two three four five one. <laughs> there are seven rows let's count it twelve one two three four five six seven eight actually eight rows so i am done with my collar area and this is how it looks i hope yours looks the same as mine now we want to do the ribbing all round our work that will start from the collar areas all the way down to our front panels okay please do not cut off your yarn once you're done with your collar area because we need to do ribbing it makes our work look neat and for the ribbing we are using single crochets so just chain one turn your work and go in each stitch with a single crochet like this okay just go in in every stitch with a single crochet like this and i'll meet you once you're done with your rows of single crochet remember we are working from this collar area all the way to the front panel 
and i'll meet you once you're done with your work at the front panel I am done with my collar area from this side i went around the collar up to here and now we are here and now we have to go down the front panel so just continue with doing single crochets in each space make a single crochet in each space and in the middle of the row and i will meet you at the end of this uh, front panel okay it's just a row of single crochets nothing complicated Okay, i'm done with my first row this is how it looks it's so so pretty and i want to make another row so the next row we'll make from here all the way to the collar area we will not go past the collar area it's just a second row of single crochet so do row two of single crochet i'll meet you on top there near your collar area and always chain one to begin a row of single crochets Okay, we are at the top here and this is where we are going to finish our rows where well, there's the corner remember the decreases we made we will stop here don't go all all over the collar so stop here chain one and then go down the row with another row of single crochets but please note we have to put button holes put stitch markers where you want your buttons to be so i'm just putting stitch markers where we are going to put our button holes and then we will do the button holes once we get to the stitch marker okay i've put my stitch markers where i want my button holes to be please make sure it's comfortable enough for you and then now we will continue with single crochets once we get to the stitch marker we will do something different because we have to make the button holes chain one 
turn your work and do single crochets until we get to the stitch marker i will meet you at the stitch marker We are at the stitch marker, so I'm just doing the last stitch. Let me zoom it in so you can see well. And here at the stitch marker, we are doing something different. Remove your stitch marker, then we will chain two. So once you've chained two, you're going to remove your stitch marker like this. Yarn over, skip two stitches on the third stitch make a double crochet like this that's how we make a space for the that's how we make a button hole so chain one sorry don't chain one just go ahead in the next stitch and make single crochets all right continue with single crochets until you reach the next stitch marker We are on the next stitch marker, chain two, remove the stitch marker, skip two stitches, one, two, on the third, make a double crochet like this, and then continue with single crochets in the next stitch up to the next buttonhole space. That's how we make buttonholes. I will meet you at the end of your work, okay? so we are at the end of our work and these are our button holes and now we have to go through these button holes to make them firm and to do that we are only going to do a row of single crochets from here all the way up kindly not always chain one to begin a new row of single crochets okay so i've chained one go to the next stitch and make a single crochet next stitch make a single crochet i will meet you at the first button hole so guys we have the button hole and in the button hole go inside the button hole with the first single crochet go again inside with the second single crochet and a third single crochet this is to make the buttonhole firm and visible like this all right okay so once you're done make sure your button fits perfectly i'm just trying mine and it's okay it fits well so continue with the single crochets and please note when you get to the buttonhole you are making three single crochets inside the buttonhole i'll meet you at the top of your work the top of my work and at the top here just do one single crochet chain one and cut off your work and this is how the top of your work will be once you finish you will go in and sew in all these ends we are going to work the same same way in this other side please remember on this other side we are only making four single crochets and then we will do buttons on them we are not making button holes and we are starting from this collar area all the way to the bottom. We are only making four rows of single crochets the same way we did the other sides, minus button holes. Once you're done with the four rows you're going to reattach the blue yarn like this then chain two and now we are doing the ribbing at the lower part and make two double crochets in the first stitch like this okay the next one we are going in with a single crochet remember we are making the ribbing at the lower part immediately after the four single crochets so the next is one single crochet the next stitch go in and make two double crochets like this and two so we are alternating between one single crochet and two 
double crochet crochets so always remember to yarn over when making double crochets so one single crochet the next two double crochet one single crochet the next two double crochet like here we are doing two double crochets that means the next one we will do only one single crochet like this the next we do two double crochets so that's how we do the ribbing at the lower part of our blouse okay Once you're done at the end here chain one cut off your yarn and please make sure your work is well fastened so like this and go in and weave in all the loose yarns around then now you will go ahead and put button holes not button holes buttons here where there's a button holes put a button adjacent to it here put a button and the next here put a button and here put a button and that is the end of our work i hope you enjoyed this tutorial this is how my work turned out to be i love this set so so much kindly subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up tell me what you think about this work do you love this tutorial do you, do you enjoy it was it easy to follow if you make this top um, I love to see your work and this is the close-up of the top. Thank you again for subscribing, for commenting, for liking and for continuing building up. See you soon. Bye-bye.